In the same way we just looked at square roots, we're now going to look at cube roots, which include a bit of algebra. Let's just remind ourselves of cube roots of plain old numbers. What's the cube root of 64? Well, if we're asking what's the cube root of 64, we're saying what times what times what gives you 64. Same number multiplied by itself three times gives you 64. In other words, what to the power of 3 gives you 64. Well, as we know that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, we then know that the cube root of 64 is just 4. Now let's throw in some algebra. So if we want to do what's the cube root of 64x to the power of 12. Again, we're asking what multiplied by itself multiplied by itself gives you the answer of 64x to the power of 12. Well, we already know that we're going to have 4 because 4 times 4 times 4 is going to give you the 64. We've got to deal with the x to the 12. Well, we can deal with that easily by just knowing what x to the 12 means, right? x to the 12 just means you've got 12 x's all multiplied together. Now we want to have something times something times something to get us to x to the 12. So we want to split it up into three groups. So we can split those 12 x's up into three groups and we'll have 4 x's in each of those three groups. In other words, x to the power of 4. And if we take x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4, we're going to get a x to the power of 12. So what we have is that 4 x to the 4 times 4 x to the 4 times 4 x to the 4 is 64 x to the 12. And this is because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And then if you look at the x to the 4 times x to the 4 times x to the 4, what have you got there? x to the 4 is 4x's multiplied together. Then you've got another 4x's multiplied together. And then another 4x's multiplied together. So in total, you've got 12x's multiplied together. And so this tells us the cube root of 64x to the 12 is just 4x to the power of 4.